morning. All right. So we have a couple announcements today. Um, so we have Youth Sunday today. Thank you to our youth. <laughs> youth group for 6th through 12th grade. All youth families invi are invited to stay for brunch today. And food donations, January. Um, over 300 collected for Bowling Green Food Pantry. Today is the last day to donate for that. Uh, Christian Children's Fellowship is Wednesday, 3.45 to 5, and please remember to wear your mask. Handbell practice is Wednesday at 6 p.m., where there will be masks and just social distancing. Um, choir practice is uh, right now on hold. And Boy Scout Sunday is February 6th. Our Boy Scouts will provide a color guard between, before the 10.30 worship, Food pantry, vote for your team or the commercials with the money or food. Okay. Um, New Life Center is seeking donations of chocolate cookies, candies, cupcakes, all the things, chocolate, for their yearly chocolate extravaganza fundraiser on February 26th. If you would be interested in helping in this way, please see Dorsey after church for the details. Um, is that it? Is that all? Well, that's, thank you, and How's it going? <laughs> so you join me in a call of worship. We are disciples of Christ, a movement for wholeness in a fragmented world. All right. Uh, I guess we're doing a song. Join us. Huh? All right. Uh, join us in the song. Listen to my. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you that you're always with us and you never stop loving us. We trust in your love and have gathered to worship and praise you. Through, our, yeah, through your Holy Spirit, touch us, renew us, comfort us, and challenge us as we are one in the body of your Son. Hear us now as we pray the prayer he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, that would be by name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So obviously I'm not one of the youth, but wanted to come up and introduce our senior moment. Now, any of our children who would like to come up are welcome to come up, but we're going to invite them to bring one or two seniors with them. So, and then we're going to need a couple of senior volunteers during the service. So children, come on down and bring some seniors with you, please. Or if a senior just wants to come, come on down, okay? So we are, uh, or a senior can bring the child. There you go. And being a senior just means you're an adult, okay? So Marliana could not be here. She's going to explain that in a moment. And um, she will explain that and share that with us. But she filmed her moment so that she could be a part of Youth Sunday. Hi, Cece. All right. There we go. Explain this is your body. 
right here, this toothpaste bottle, is your body. What your body just did, when I opened this lid and squeezed, was I suck, was I let all of the mean, hurtful, colorful words that everybody once in their life says and put them onto this plate. And when I try to suck them back up with your body, when I try to suck up the words that were hurtful and mean and not, didn't make people feel that good, when I try to do that, it didn't work. So what I'm trying to get at here is when you say mean words and let them go everywhere, you can never take them back in. And they're always gonna stick with somebody. Somebody's always going to have that chip on their shoulder with you. And Jesus wants you to always say nice, kind words and be nice to everybody because it's not fair to single everybody out. And it's not fair to be mean to other people. And also, if it was you in that position, you wouldn't want to be in that position. So, everybody, I love you all. And I guess I'll see you next, or not next Sunday. It's going to be a little different, so be sure that you listen. All right, here we go. Dear God, we thank you for... I would like to say that they did not film that sideways. It just would not write itself in our Media Shout program. So, but thank you. And she will be at a cheer or dance competition in Florida next Sunday. So we want to keep her team in our prayers for that. For all that we may receive, may we be thankful for all that we are sorry for all that we receive may we be thankful for all that we are called to give may we do something glad with generous hearts and may we in love serve one another with whatever gifts we have received let us pray loving and eternal god may the gifts we offer bring light and dark and hurting sorry um, may the gifts we offer bring light to a dark and hurting wor world May they bring hope to those who live in despair and justice, to those who are, are oppressed. May each of us who share these gifts know that we are sharing your loving and blessing in the world. We dedicate our offerings and ourselves to you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let us pray. Eternal God, you have always loved us, but we don't always love you. We confess, eternal God, that you have always loved... Mm, I read that again. No. <laughs> we have not always lived for you. We have not always lived in love. You have shown us how to love, but often we close our hearts and follow paths of uncaring and indifference. You call us to care, but we are too busy. You have called us to live generously, but we don't always want to share the blessing you have given. 
O God, forgive us when our hearts are not turned to you. Forgive us when we are selfish and self-centered. Forgive us when we are not lo uh, loving as freely as you. We know that you have given mercy and have forgiven we our sins, and we thank you for your praise and compassion. We also give thanks for Pat S. for being cancer-free, Abby M., who is home, and... Patsy H., we pray for those who are hurting and in need of healing. Patsy H., Kenneth C., Bonnie T., Wyatt H., Jacob L., Linda and Donnie R., and the fam. We pray for those who have lost loved ones, the family and friends of Ella A., uh, Joan M., and David P., we pray to continue to recover from the tornadoes and the flooding and other ongoing disasters. We pray for each one who is on our prayer list. Know that their needs are thankful, and in the name of your Son, we pray. Amen. Let us sing songs of praise. O, o come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have formed the dry land. God created this world for us to grow and thrive in. He was kind enough to do this for us, which has always inspired me to be kind to other people. We should all live and appreciate our life and live our life the fullest and appreciate what God has given us. When someone is kind to you, even if it's something small, we remember it. I remember my first Strings concert. I was so scared. I was crying, and then some lady started talking to me comforting me. Soon enough, she convinced me to go on stage, and I played, and it wasn't even that scary. After the performance, I ran up to her and gave her a big hug and thanked her. We'll always remember how kind and caring she was. This is what this scripture means to me. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. And in the, play, in the peace of God, which suppresses all in understanding, we will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. For my scripture, it was 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks with, in all circumstances, for this is God's will in you, Christ Jesus. This morning, I'm going to be taking the scripture verse by verse. In the 16th verse, it says, rejoice always. When talking this verse over with my family, my mom reminded me that life is better when you are grateful. Sitting around the dinner table thinking about the time when I was truly grateful for something wasn't hard. Even though COVID-19 is still affecting us almost two years later, I'm thankful for March 2020 and on. During this time of uncertainty, uncertainty, I most definitely was learning. I was nervous about what was going on in the world around us, but I was also excited to try my hand at online learning and being at home with my family all day. Being grateful through this time period 
Being grateful through this time period, I exper experienced things like going on hikes with my family, staying up late talking with friends, starting college classes during my sophomore year, and growing a closer bond with my family. I think if I wasn't able to think about the small things and be grateful for those, these past two years would have been harder on me than they ultimately were. In the 17th verse, it says, pray continually. And even though, even though I'm the first person to say, no nose goes during youth, so I don't have to pray, I'm forever grateful for what this church and my religion has given me. No, not only has coming to this church since I was in kindergarten strengthened my faith, but also the relationships that I've made. When I hear the words pray continually, I think of our Facebook page. And if anyone has a prayer concern, they're welcome to post it and multiple people will comment praying for you or thinking of you. The 18th verse says, give, th give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. God's will for us is to be grateful and to give thanks when we can, joy when we can find joy. We're better able to hear God's voice. We can carry out God's will for our lives by hearing his voice that asks us to show care for others, whether it's praying for others, cooking a meal, or letting them, letting them know that we are thinking about them. With this being said, this is my interpretation of 1 Thessalonians chapter 15, verses 16 through 18. We invite anyone who, is a, who would like to accept Jesus into your life to come forward during the, our invitation music to make a confession of faith. We also invite you to share in communion time. This is the Lord's table, and everyone is welcome. There are no exceptions, for we are all loved and welcomed. Please join me in prayer. God of mercy, we come to this table recognizing that the bread and cup are symbols of your love and forgiveness. Too often we want to rely on our own strength and we are not strong enough. As we share together in communion, may we find nourishment and strength in you. May we be remembered and reminded to forgive others as you continue to forgive us. In the name of your Son, our Savior, we pray. Amen. For I received for the Lord, which is what I also hand to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper, saying, This is the cup of the covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink and drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. I just want to say thank you to our youth. You may not ask them to give us sermon tips on keeping it short. I just want to tell you that now. But I do want to say thank you. I think they've done a great job. It's been difficult because we've had ones who have been out of town for different things they have going on. We have ones who have had COVID in their family and haven't been able to be here. And it's just, as you know, a juggling act. And I think they've just all done a great job and putting this all together, so thank you to them. So,
please stand for the benediction as our acolytes come forward. May the God of hope fill you with joy and all with all joy and peace in believing so that the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Amen. 